We're all born with greatness. We're not born with greatness. You earn greatness, okay? That's a bullshit line to sell shit to talk about. When I choose a client, okay, they have to be as messed up, the crazy, chip. addicted, everything to being great. They have to, they gotta want it. They gotta be as crazy and they gotta be as up as wow. you are. That's how you get success. You know, people talk about in business or think, oh, you gotta find a balance. If you're one way, you gotta find a person that's the other way. No, that's bullshit. That's pulling you away from how you wanna do things and how, now those people around you, they gotta be smarter than you are. Right. If you're the smartest person in the room, you need to get more people in the room. Sure. Okay, you should not walk into the room and ever be the smartest person in there. Okay. The people around you have to be much smarter, or at least in certain things. You may have an expertise in one thing, but that other individual better have an expertise that's beyond yours in something in something else. From a mind standpoint, you know, MJ was just as f***ed up as I was. Kobe is just as f***ed up as I was. Okay. I wanted to be the best at what I do. They wanted to be the best at what they do. Those are the people that allow you to push them and they understand they want to get they want to get better you know they don't need to be motivated okay they're the ones that are show up to practice early okay they're the ones taking the extra shots they're the ones doing the wind sprints at the end they're the ones you know getting treatment taking care of their body you got to you got to tell them to leave you don't have to tell them to show up you got to tell them to leave oh that that gosh. that that's enough you know you have people in your office yeah. and you look at it you know how many employees do you have now we got 4,200 agents. If you put them all in, the, all in the room, all right, and say your hours were nine to five, you'd have 4,200 people in here from nine, from nine to five o'clock, uh, from five o'clock. After five o'clock, you may have 500. After seven o'clock, you may have 200. After nine o'clock, you may have five. And then guess what? At the end of the day, there's gonna be one light left on. Maybe two, yours and somebody else's. That person's as f***ed up as you are. <laughs> what? <laughs> Tell me first time with MJ, so what happened there? I sent letters to all the Bulls players, except Michael, except Michael. Why'd you, why'd you do that? You know, I'm a young kid. He doesn't need any help. Got it. You know, he's a bay, he's gonna be great. He's gonna yeah. be all that. I get one phone call back. Guess who it's from? Michael. There you go. The best of the best wanted to get even better. The, the guy who didn't get the letter The calls guy who you. didn't get the letter went and looked into the, out of somebody else's yeah. locker and told the athletic trainer and the team doctor at the time, talk to this guy, okay, talk to him. Long interview process, they asked me all the questions and I had to do the process again, then I had to do the process again, then I get a phone call and they said, hey, Michael wants to meet you after practice. And so they, you still haven't met Michael, I still have not met my. I still have not met Michael, okay? So this is in December of 19, 89. He said, let's try this out. So I give you 30 days. Okay, 30 days turned into 15 years. Okay. 15 years he stays with you. 15, 15, and that's, you know, and that's key there because a lot of individuals now, okay, especially in this generation, not only from a training standpoint, but from a knowledge standpoint, they're jumping from one thing to another. Yeah. You know, they're using this trainer this week, they're using another trainer next week. You know, they're, they're using this person as a mentor on YouTube, then they're using this person over here, okay? And they're getting all this conflicting information, okay? You gotta, you gotta master what you're going to master. Okay, you have to fit, you have to figure it out. Too many people are jumping from place to place to place. Michael, Kobe, all these individuals, they mastered one aspect of the game. When they mastered that aspect of the game, then they moved to another aspect of Love the game. That. And what are people always asking? They want more content, they want more content. They can't remember what the fuck you said two days ago. That's right. Okay, and they're already on to the next lesson. You gotta master that stuff That's first. That's such a message I'm aligned with. I mean, Tim, okay. I'm 100% aligned with that message. You see all these individuals, they've got to deal with injuries, yeah. they got off court, they got off court. You know, they're, they're human beings yeah. just like everybody yeah. else. But the cleaner never brings that stuff to work. Never brings it to work. Once they step on that football field, that baseball diamond, the soccer field, the basketball court. No one knows. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You know, you have individuals here. You, 
when you see somebody's productivity at work fluctuate up and down, right, it usually has nothing to do with what's going on at work. It's usually what's going on in their personal life. What, a, what an incredible item to cover. Okay, and they bring it to work. Yep. Cleaners don't bring their personal shit to work. Yep. They don't. Right All of this can be learned. All 13 of them. All of this can be learned, okay? And we talk about this in the Relentless System, how you're not born with this. This is something that can be learned. But what happens is when you, everyone's gonna hit adversity, Yep. okay? It's how you deal with that adversity. And the key word is you, not letting somebody else deal with that adversity. You have to deal with that adversity. And how you deal with it, are you gonna fight through it or are you gonna curl up and just roll over into the corner? is gonna pretty much determine how the rest of your development from a mental standpoint is going to carry you. You can't always look for other people to help you. Other people got their own problems. They got their own shit they yep. gotta deal with. They're trying to achieve their own goals. They are willing to assist, but after a while, okay, if you constantly, looking for assistance, constantly looking for help, it's, it's on you. Your failure and your success is on you. Your obligation to yourself, okay, has to be greater than anybody else's obligation to you. What does that mean? Okay, you get so many people that want shit for you more than you want it for yourself, okay? Your obligation to yourself to be the best, to achieve the highest level has to be greater. The pressure you put on yourself has to exceed anybody else's pressure that puts on you outside. Yeah, I love this one. You know, people talk about this. We're all born with greatness. We're not born with greatness. You earn greatness, okay? That's a bullshit line to sell shit to talk about. We're all born with greatness, okay? Uh, giving people hugs and five high fives and all that other stuff. That's a fucking high. You know how, what do you gotta do to get to paradise? Mm. You gotta fight like hell to get to paradise. People don't know how to fight anymore. They don't know how to fight. Paradise starts in hell and people quit. They're trying to clip. It's the ones that can fight, the ones that come back, those are the ones that succeed. Those are the icons. Many legends out there, very few icons. What the greatest do, you know what becomes their best friend? Hmm. Distance. Distance becomes their best friend. Distance becomes Distance. their best friend. Okay, distance from others, okay? Distance from their family, Wow. okay? Distance from their friends, okay? You have all these individuals that hang out, that hang out together. Everyone tries to fit in a group, okay? You're growing up, I wanna be part of this fraternity. I wanna hang out mm -hmm. with these people. I wanna hang out over here. Who do you idolize the most? The ones that stand alone. The ones that create distance between you and the competition and everybody else. You have all your friends. That, they may have all started off together, and what happens is when you, they know they can't keep up, okay? You create distance. You want them to come with you, but they don't have the ability sure. to. They don't have the discipline. They don't have the sacrifice. So distance has to become your best friend in order for you to achieve the best at what you want to do. I know these are completely different thoughts than what other people tell what other people tell you. Surround yourself with positive people. You know what that means? That means lie to my face so I can feel good about myself. <laughs> That's what that means. Okay? You need to surround yourself with people that tell you the truth when you up, they tell you you're up. Love you that. made a bad decision. You made a bad decision. Now, when you say you made a bad decision, now you got to go fix it. Everyone has talent, in something, but do you have the intelligence that goes with that talent? Okay, a lot of people are talented in a lot of things. Okay, you got individuals that can run so fast. Okay, mm -hmm. or play in a pickup basketball game that look unbelievable. But now when you put them in a setting where you have to have some intelligence, where they have to think about the plays or think about the defense, okay? Think about, have you ever seen the size of an NFL playbook? I mean, it's, it's about this thick, okay? They know all the plays and they know all the plays of everybody, all their teammates. Where the talent has to become the intelligence. Where the intelligence has to come the competitiveness. Would you say Kobe and MJ were at a whole different level at that than everybody else? Whole different level. But now when we talked about failure, this is the key point in this one right here. Resiliency. When all the shit starts to come in, 
okay? When everybody's pulling you in different directions, telling you, you can't do this, you can't do that, you're, you're not this, you have the resiliency to show them, okay? Everything that says, you ca I can't do it, they've done. That's resiliency. When you have those four things, and I don't care if it's in sports, it's in business, you have to have those things. Otherwise, Powerful. failure is gonna kick your ass over and over again. Because so many people have one of those four. You can ha have, have the uh, intelligence in something and not be talented at it. So now you have, to find, you have to find something else. So like, you know, when I was talking about, I had the intelligence in sports performance and in, ba and in basketball, how the body moves. I didn't have the talent mm. to be a professional bat to be a professional yeah. basketball player. So you were self-aware of it. Exactly. So all these things tie in together. All Man. tie yep. in together. They all tie in together. Those four things are in every single individual that has been successful. If you're missing one of those pieces, you're not you need to find it because you'll never get to where you want to be without them. You got to love what you do. You don't have to love what you do. You got to be fucking addicted to what you do. Okay, you got to be addicted to winning. Just like a, just like failure is an addiction, winning is an addiction. 